Hey there. Apologize for the last episode. It sounded like I was on methamphetamine. I was just simply excited to move on for the 1964 John F. Kennedy tops set to get to episode number 142, which is a personal favorite of mine in the baseball sets. It's the 1964 tops stand ups. Beautifully colored cards. Some might say that yellow and green don't go together unless you're a citizen of Ghana. But I say they are beautiful cards, beautifully unique cards, uh, wonderfully depicting players and begging and urging and teasing you to pop them on out and stand them on up. But uh, most of you guys and gals resisted, thankfully, and there's enough of them out there um, to make all of us uh, happy at night when we go to bed because uh, we have them in our collection. I have 45 of these cards the uh 1964 top stand-ups and the very popular set very difficult to collect in superior conditions but boy uh do they really stand out in anybody's display uh and i have one behind me that you probably can't see because my big head's in the way 77 total cards 64 dollars and 48 cents average value four thousand nine hundred sixty five dollars total value a set of these in theory will cost you between twenty five hundred and four thousand dollars in decent condition. 1964 tops produced a die cut stand up car design for the first time since their Connie Mack and current all stars of 1951. These cards were issued in both one cent and five cent packs. The cards have full length color player photos set against a green and yellow background. Of the 77 cards in the set, 22 were single printed. And these are marked in the checklist below with an SP. These unnumbered cards are standard size, two and a half by three and a half, blank backed, and have been numbered here for reference in alphabetical order of players. Interestingly, there were four different wrapper designs used for this set. All the design variations are var valued at the same price. So 77 of these, I am not even halfway done. I have a big old stack of them, but it doesn't look like I'm close to being finished this set. Let's get over to, well, let's look at the top three here. You'd be surprised. There's some true legends in the top three, but one of them in particular may surprise you. Mickey Mantle, of course, number one, but Carl Yastrzemski, number two. He's a short print. Difficult to find. I was able to secure one of those at the National last year on my second go-around, and it turns out my second go-around uh, was an even better buy in my first attempt there attempted to buy a slab gentleman wouldn't budge came back and uh found later on elsewhere in the hall of steam i found a uh ungraded one that was in much better condition for much cheaper so look at me uh wheeling and dealing there in chicago uh clemente and Mays are tied for your third most valuable cards 64 top stand up 77 cards teams depicted here Orioles, Red Sox, Cubs, White Sox, Reds, Indians, Tigers, Colt 45s, Athletics, Angels, Dodgers, Braves, Twins, Mets, Yankees, Phillies, Pirates, Giants, Cardinals, and the Senators. Hall of Famers abound. There's 21 of them, including Aaron Banks, Cepeda, Clemente, Drysdale, Kaline, Killebrew, Koufax, Mantle, Marischal, Eddie Matthews, Mays, Mazeroski, McCovey, Brooks, and Frank Robinson, Santos, Bon, Torre, Billy Williams, and Carl Yes, Dremski. The packaging, uh, uh, boy, the box was just as bright as the cards themselves. The uh, yellow, the green, added with a red. We are definitely skanking at this point, and uh, everybody is a Rastafarian, apparently. Um, the wax pack's the same, predominantly yellow with a little green, with a little red uh, in there as well. Baseball stand-ups, bubblegum, five cents, and you can see a... Um, a punched out player, how they're supposed to look stood up. And uh, we don't see that a lot in our hobby, funnily enough, because uh, we don't approve of punching them out. But uh, we can clearly see on the um, wrapper what it's supposed to look like should we defy our inner demons and punch these bad boys out. Uh, Exploding Battleship is an offer there on uh, the wrapper pack. And uh, things were getting gory. You could also get a uh, Joe's Magic Circle Club free uh ring i guess you get a dakota ring dakota rings were big things back then and a free seashell hobby kit still on uh and in demand 
uh, from the seven seas on the rack. Uh, I'm sorry, on the wax pack of the 64 tops standups. Trivia questions associated with this set. Standups are die cut collectibles, which make it possible to fold out the player from the yellow background and be self standing. Thanks for that. The gallery, here they are, folks, in all their glory. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cards. It says, punch out and bend back on perforated line. Henry Aaron, the Milwaukee Braves, the outfielder, uh, copyright TCG, printed in USA. Of course, he leads us off with that, that double A, R-O-N. Hank Aguirre, not too far behind. Uh, George Altman is in there. Max Alvis, Bob Aspermonte, uh, Jack Balchin. Ernie Banks, uh, first baseman with a non-first baseman mitt, ready to grab a ball off the turf. Uh, Steve Barber is in there. Earl Batty, he's your catcher. Uh, Ken Boyer. Ernie Broglio, who I believe was traded for the great Lou Brock uh, <laughs> that year. He would go to the Cubs, and Lou Brock would go to the Cardinals, and the rest, as they say, is history. Johnny Callison of the Mighty Phillies. Norm Cash. Uh, yep, he's a short print. I thought so. Wayne Causey is in there. Orlando Cepedo is throwing some grounders to maybe his third baseman or his shortstop. In between innings there. Ed Charles in that lovely Casey Athletics vest. Bob Clemente looks uh, d just as disjointed as he always did when he threw the baseball, but uh, that is truly capturing a legend in his uh, all his glory for sure. Uh, Don Clendonan, Don Clendenin is there. Uh, Rocky Colavito, Ray Culp for your Philadelphia Phillies. Tommy Davis, Don Drysdale, Dick Ellsworth, Dick Farrell. Jim Fragosi, Bob Friend, Jim Gentili, Jesse Gonder, Tony Gonzalez, Dick Grote. The hit parade goes on. Woody Held is here. He is in our 1964 top stand-up. Chuck Hinton can't be bothered to stand up. He is leaning on his bat. Uh, Elston Howard swinging away. Frank Howard swinging away. Ron Hunt throwing some balls. Al Jackson after his pitch. And Ken Johnson, same thing. Al Kaline's whacking the ball. Harmon Kilbrew is not quite whacking the ball, but he will soon. Sandy Koufax, nice tan you got going there, Sanford. Don Locke, Jerry Lumpy, and a very interesting Detroit Tigers uh, getup. I've never seen that Tigers getup before, but it sure is a getup. Jim Maloney is pitching. Frank Malzone is receiving. Mickey Mantle is swinging. Ron Marichal is contemplating. Eddie Matthews wants a cigarette. Willie Mays. Uh, says, hey, I'm going to hit this ball. You guys go chase it. Bill Mazeroski, Ken McBride of the New the Los Angeles Angels in pinstripes. Not sure what's going on there. Willie McCovey hacking the ball. Claude Osteen, Jim O'Toole, Camilo Pascal, Albie Pearson, Gary Peters, Vada Pinson just hit a ball. Uh, Juan Pizarro just threw a ball. Boog Powell is doing a dance, uh, the cabbage patch, I believe. And Bobby Richardson is ready to receive a ball from whomever may deliver. Brooks Robinson, known for his glove, of course, is posing with his bat. Floyd Robinson is also posing with his bat, but swinging. And Frank Robinson looks like he's at mini bat day in Cincinnati. Ed Roebuck, uh, the Washington Senators, he is throwing the ball. Rich Rollins receiving the ball. Johnny Romano is a catcher, and he has a glove. And he is showing you his catching squat. Ron Santo hacking away. Norm Seaburn, Seaburn hacking away. Warren Spahn, his nose looks spectacular. Uh, Dick Stewart. And we get to page eight here where we have Lee Thomas, future general manager. Joe Torrey with his hat backwards. You can say all you want about Ken Griffey Jr., but Joe Torrey did it first. Uh, Pete Ward of the Sox. Bill White. Billy Williams. Looks like he's ground balling it out there in the outfield. Hal Woodchick for the Houston Colts and Carl Yastrzemski has got three bats and a one track of mine to hit the baseball. So that's your 1964 top standups. Beautiful set. Very popular right now. And uh, I am again, 35 out of 77. It looks like, so I better get my, I better get my rear in some sort of gear. Thanks so much.